You have to learn tolerance like a tree and humility like the grass. Chant the holy name of Krishna always. Explanation. This quote emphasizes the qualities of humility and tolerance as essential for spiritual growth. Swami Prabhupada teaches that, like a tree that endures all hardships without complaint, and grass that remains humble despite being stepped on, one should cultivate these virtues. By constantly chanting the holy name of Krishna, one can maintain a connection with the divine and develop these qualities, leading to a peaceful and spiritually fulfilling life. Your duty is to chant the holy name of the Lord. That is your duty in this age. Explanation. Swami Prabhupada emphasized the practice of Haranam Sankirtan, the chanting of the holy names of God, particularly in the form of the Hare Krishna mantra, as the most important spiritual practice for the current age, Kali Yuga. He believed that this simple yet profound practice could purify the mind, awaken spiritual consciousness, and connect one with the divine, making it a central focus of his teachings. The material body is a gift of the Lord to the conditioned soul. It is meant for fulfilling the mission of human life, self-realization. Explanation. In this quote, Swami Prabhupada reminds us that the human body is not just a vehicle for material enjoyment but a sacred opportunity given by the divine for self-realization. He encourages using this life to pursue spiritual goals rather than being lost in worldly distractions. Recognizing the body as a gift with a higher purpose can inspire one to lead a life of discipline, devotion, and spiritual inquiry. If you want happiness, you must accept the principle of austerity. Happiness comes through austerity. Explanation. Swami Prabhupada teaches that true, lasting happiness is achieved through spiritual discipline and austerity, not through the pursuit of material pleasures. Austerity, in this context, means voluntarily accepting some level of discomfort or restraint for a higher purpose, such as fasting, simple living, or dedicating time to spiritual practices. This quote encourages us to look beyond temporary comforts and seek deeper fulfillment through spiritual commitment. The secret of success is to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Explanation. Swami Prabhupada emphasizes that true success in life is not measured by material achievements but by how well one can align their actions with the will of God, or Krishna. By living a life of devotion, service, and adherence to spiritual principles, one can please the Supreme Being and achieve both spiritual success and ultimate happiness. This quote encourages a life focused on divine service rather than personal gain. 